you have to think of a sewer line as like the trunk of the home. Basically all those little branches that come off of it are gonna be like your showers, your, your uh, sinks, your kitchen sinks, your laundry, that sort of stuff. That goes all into this bigger trunk. Once it hits that bigger pipe, that's your sewer line. And that typically goes out front or out back of the house, depending on what area that you live in. Basically, you're gonna walk around the house and you're gonna look for a pipe that's coming out of the ground. It's gonna be about, if you take your two hands together and make a round circle, it'll be about that size. Um, it could have a box around it, a round box that's a little bit bigger with a green lid, but that's gonna be somewhere around the landscape. Sometimes landscapers cover that up, so you might have one that's covered and you just don't know it. They're really hard to find, they really are. So if you're experiencing a sewer backup, then you will probably find one if you have it because there's a bunch of toilet paper and sewage out in your backyard or your front yard. That's the telltale sign right there. So you will have gurgling in your toilets. You're gonna have um, waste or water not draining in your shower and it will be gurgling in the toilet at the same time. Some people will have actual waste come up in their shower when they're showering. Same thing in a bathtub. So you have to picture that that water is gonna to go to the lowest point in the home. The lowest point is your shower and your bathtub because that drain is at the floor level. Also, if you're running your laundry and it kind of bubbles in the toilet, that's a sign of a sewer problem. If you have a sewer clean out, you can go to that and if the cap is accessible, you could take that cap off, be prepared for sewage to spray up at you, but that will then all drain everything in from the house to the outside of the house. So that's gonna, protect the house from any more damage that's caused.